And I just wanted to thank you also, um, Mr Mayor, for the clarity of the guidance that you gave earlier today. Um, it's really clear people need to hear as clearly as possible from their leaders that they need to be following the stay-at-home guidance and that this will save lives. So thank you for that. Um, I wanted to um, ask you about flexibility within some of the potential budget money that we have within London. Uh, in my local borough, we're doing things like, for example, planning to release community infrastructure levy money to help with building up um, networks in the community and voluntary sector in preparation for, for, for needs. Um, we see that as community infrastructure and we, we think we can um, do that. Um, potentially there are some balances that you have within your own budgets um, that could be used, for example the strategic uh, investment fund that we were pointing out during the budget and also in relation to what you said earlier about, for example, homelessness and, and, and buying up hotels. Um, you have balances in, in housing grants that's, that we hold. Potentially that could be released now and dealt with in relation to government later. I know you commented on the lag that there might be. Are you exploring ways in which you might be flexible with money that we already hold in just getting some of this infrastructure and support built up now? Yeah, I'm looking at all our budgets to see what I can free up to deal with this crisis. I, mean, I, think, I think you've expressed one of the things I'm trying to get across. This is a crisis. Uh, and I think it's really important we understand that the uh, normal rules of the game are gone. Uh, and we've got to think about it that way. And it's a mind shift. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, we've, uh, we're exploring all the budgets we have, all the budgets we have, the normal rules we have. Um, uh, we're looking at whether we can change them. If, if it needs to change in legislation, we're sort of talking to the government about that in relation to the rules. If it's grant funding with strings attached, we're seeing if we can be flexible with the strings. Yeah. But we've got to be innovative. I think, yeah, building up, building up resilience now, well, well, we're not exactly in a calm before the storm, but things are not as crisis hit, hit as they were, it's the, it's the right thing to do. Um, can I ask you just quickly with the rest of my time about um, people's incomes and outgoings? Because obviously we don't have balances within City Hall that can help people with their rent or their incomes. This is government that needs to do this. Um, but clearly, I think a lot of people's compliance with the guidance is put at risk by the fact that they're worried about their income, they don't know if they're going to need to pay their rent. Will you um, be supporting calls that have been made for a guaranteed basic income for people to be as flexible as possible and to be instituted as soon as possible because people will continue going to work unless they've got that reassurance? Yeah, we, we've made this point to government. It's really important. Uh, you can call it what you like, universal basic income, uh, guaranteed minimum income, whatever it is, but people need to have peace of mind that they'll have money to put food on the table. Yeah. Uh, you know, because you meet them like I do, there are people doing two, three jobs, yeah. can't make ends meet, and they've got a conundrum. The, the, the young child has got a cough uh, and a temperature. Do they stay at home for two weeks, as they've been advised to do by the experts, or do they go out and work to get money to put food on the table? Uh, and that's why, actually, uh, the government's going to be thinking and actually acting now to stop those people going out and doing the wrong thing. Yeah, and um, renters basically do not have savings, they're already paying out more than they can afford. Um, the renting measures that the government announced are for a rent holiday, which then, as far as I can tell, turns the rent into debt Absolutely. within three months. Will you be arguing for that to be a proper Absolutely. rent holiday? Absolutely. And that's one of my concerns. What, all you're doing is you're just simply kicking a can down the road. Mm -hmm. and not very so, far either. Uh, well, yeah. and, and that's why it's really important. So the government's set a mortgage holiday. Uh, you know, people should know who are renters. They're not, they're not deferring this, uh, which means, you know, human nature as it is, you'll know that you've now got the money you're supposed to pay this month, simply you've got to pay in two months' time. you still got that problem, uh, and there'll be a standing start in three months' time or four months' time when we return to normal, inverted commas, what they do. So you're absolutely right. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor.